Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So here we go again today, the 30th video in Electrons and Atoms. So let's get moving. Bam! So uh, we have already talked about the periodic table and where different types of orbitals are located. So hopefully you can see on here uh, where those are and remind yourself of where those are. So today we're going to be talking about the quantum numbers associated with the locations on the periodic table. It's just like buying a house. What are the three most important things? Location, 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 and the same is true with the periodic table. So in the blue section, you should see that that blue section are S as in sharp type orbitals. In the orange section, are the p-type orbitals, in the red section are d-type orbitals, and in the white section are the f-type orbitals. So now we're going to associate quantum numbers with these locations as well. Location, location, location on the periodic table. Okay, let's get moving. So we're going to cross out the helium right over here in the upper right-hand corner, and we're going to replace helium and put it somewhere else where it belongs for this activity. And for this activity, it's going to be right to the right of hydrogen, right next to hydrogen. So you see, right next to hydrogen, I've placed helium right there. Okay, now, the next thing that we're going to do is this whole section here are S, as in sharp, type orbitals here in the blue section that we have labeled already before. And I've drawn a line halfway in between the whole section of the S type orbitals, right smack dab in the middle, a vertical line. Okay. There's a reason for that vertical line, and that will become apparent here in just a little bit. But we're going to go on to the next one. Okay, look at the P's. These are the P-type orbitals. And again, I've drawn a line in that or uh, vertical orange line right in the middle of the P-type orbital. So one half is on the right-hand side. One half is on the left-hand side of the P-type orbitals. I'm going to do the same thing with the D's, the D-type orbitals. So I have one half on the right, one half on the left. Okay, same thing with the F-type orbitals, one half on the right, one half on the left. Okay, so that's where those lines are drawn halfway in between them. Okay, now, go take a look at the S-type orbitals again. I've written down the M sub L values for the S-type orbitals, so um, that would be zeros. Okay, so now maybe this is not apparent quite yet. Okay, but it will be making more sense as we move into the P's, the D's, and the F's. Okay, so let's do the P's, D's, and the F's. Okay, so for the P's, the M sub L values are like a number line, but remember, it's the planes, the uh, XYZ axis plane. So the planes of the XYZ axis, we've already gone over that, and it's PX, PY, PZ, and that corresponds to the negative 1, 0, and a 1. And it's repeated again, negative 1, 0, and a 1. Okay, recall that that helium is not there. So those are the M sub L values for those. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with the Ds. Now, um, with the Ps, we have 3. So remember the number of boxes for the orbital box diagram are 1, 3, 5, and 7. So the same thing is going to be ha having a, an occurrence here as well. And with the P's, there are three of the M sub L values which are repeated. Okay, so we're going to repeat that. What's the next number after three? It's not four, it's five. Okay, so we're going to repeat this same set of five numbers um, twice. Okay, so here are the M sub L values for the D-type orbitals. It's negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, then repeating negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two. These are the designations for the orbital boxes, okay? And the same thing is going to hold true on the F-type orbitals. For the F-type orbitals, of course, we're going to have seven boxes, and then we're going to add a number on either side here. And that's the M sub L values of negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and then repeating that again, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. I want you to look at this pattern on the periodic table. It is a beautiful pattern. It's one of the reasons why the periodic table is organized in the fashion that it is. It's, it's all about the quantum numbers. Okay, It's not about like uh, uh, anything else but quantum numbers. Okay, Now, so looking at those numbers, we're going to add a little bit more. So we've got the M sub L values. Okay? We have really the L values that are really written in there with the, the type of orbital, the S, the P, the D, the F. The 0, L of 0, L of 1, L of 2, L of 3, respectively, for S, P, D, and F. 
Okay, those are the L values. These are the M sub L values. Now we need to also incorporate the M sub S values, and they're actually on the periodic table as well. We just need to find them. Okay, and take a look at the S type orbitals. So that's why I drew the vertical line initially, that blue vertical line with the S type orbitals. So the left hand side of that line are the positive one half spins, and the right hand side of that line are the negative one half spins. Okay, so again, it, uh, you might not recognize the pattern with the S-type orbitals, but we're certainly going to recognize that pattern with the P-type orbitals. I've drawn that line with the P-type orbitals, that vertical line halfway in between. One half are going to be positive, the other half are going to be negative. Let's put that right up on there right now. So the M sub S values for the first half of them are plus one half. Okay, and this corresponds to the rules of placing electrons here. Remember Hund's rule, the off-bow principle and the Pauli exclusion principle. And that is, these electrons need to be up, up, and up, and then after that, then you start backfilling them. And that's why these are negative one-half for the M sub S values for the second half. Okay, the same thing is going to happen with the D-type orbitals. Hopefully you're seeing the pattern. The first half are the positive one-half for the M sub S values. The second half are the negative one-half for the M sub S values. The next one are the F-type orbitals. The first half are positive one-half. The second half are negative one-half for the M sub S values. So I'm hoping that you look at this periodic table and you should be able to write the four quantum numbers based on the location of that element. Okay, as long as you're looking for the last electron in that atom, it's right there on the periodic table for you. The N value, the L value, the M sub L, and the M sub S value. They're all right there, location, location, location on the periodic table. Don't go away. I've got more. You want to see today's hat. Well, hat in quotes. Okay, so um, a long time ago, I started with a crazy hair day, and so I used to color my hair. Now, um, someone requested that I do something different instead of hats, so here we go. It's a crazy hair day. So, if you like that video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you next time. Bye now.